All right, so Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. This is from their debut album uh, way back in 1978. And even before I get going on this, um, if you click that I in the corner or the link in the description box below, it'll take you on my website. And because this lesson is going to be in three parts of the demo, I recorded a demo. In fact, normally I'd like to keep my demos short because um, I think they can get pretty boring pretty quick. But with this one, I did the entire song. It's like five minutes and 50 seconds. So every single fill, every lick, every solo, they're all in the demo. So for guys who are, you know, already know how to play, they just want to know how to play these licks, that might work really good for them. And then uh, today's lesson, I'm going to go over the rhythm parts and the fills. And then the following lesson will be on the two guitar solos. And there's also a really cool um, article that I'll put on my website about how the song came about, how they recorded it. It was released like three different times. Um, recorded twice, I think, and released three different times. Anyways, that's all in that article. But there's a ton of stuff to get to, so let's get to it. We're in the key of D minor here. And let's just go over the chords. We've got a D minor. They're pretty well all bar chords. We've got a C. And I generally play with my little finger, although you could do it like that too. We've got a B flat. We've got an A. And then we got an A7. And then later on, we've got an F, C, B flat, back to the D minor. So there's not very many chords in it. Um, and, but it's the strumming that, that'll be hard to get. And when I was doing my demo, other than the, uh, you know, that's a hard lick. Most of the lead licks are, aren't too bad, but I found actually playing the rhythm the hardest part to get it really tight and clean. Okay, so let's go over the strumming on that. So we've got to get into this, um, which is a, it's a down up, then down with a, with a muted strings, like a slash. Like so. And that's the first thing you'll want to work on. Up to speed. So once you get that feel, then you've got to add this little extra bit, which is So we've got a, there's an extra down up there. So it's down, then down up. And still muting on that last down. Now sometimes I think he's going, arpeggiating that chord. I think he might do that once or twice, but mostly, like I slowed this down, really figure out what he was doing, and pretty sure it's. And it's not all the time, of course, so you'd have to listen to the track to get all the spots he does that. Okay, but it's always on that D minor, it's, he always does it then. So, to start the song, we hang on the D minor. And then the singing starts. And you'll notice as we go down, right, we're all off shot. So, that C is an upstroke, an off shot. Off, off, off. And then we go to an A7. Now the next time, we just hang on that A. Now we go to the F, and we do that, what is that, up, down, <laughs> down, up, down. And then we sort of catch it on the up. And to the C, and he pretty well always does that little extra on that C, okay? So from, uh, we do the F. To the B flat. To the D minor, right? 
and then we've got this little so it's off off up 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 and then we repeat that whole thing and the second time we get to this we do it twice and then we're into the chorus So all it is is right, we just take those three fingers off and we kind of hit that sort of like a, a C over a D um, and we kind of don't want to really play that E string I mean if you hit it it's not a big deal but kind of want to focus on the B string more and then we get the B flat and then we've got this little suspension because the main guitar is that but the rhythm is just so okay and that's it for the rhythm and of course you know it's not really complicated but like I said earlier to be tight and to get it really smooth um, is harder than it seems especially when the song is like five minutes and 50 seconds and you know you're doing bar chords for five minutes and 50 seconds right and it just kills your wrist and your hand you know let alone trying to make sure you're in time you know without missing anything so it, it's actually quite challenging to get through that part okay so now let's get into the uh, fills I'm gonna change my sound for that rhythm I was on my um, single coil mode okay, I've got this uh, switch here it's like uh, you know when it's down it's full humbucker when it's up it's single coil so the single coil worked really good for that I'm on the clean channel my igni Ignator Renegade just got a tiny bit of delay and I'll put reverb on later once I've recorded this in the DAW and I've got my volume about half just to keep it nice and clean okay so now to switch over the leads what I found worked the best I'm going to um, full humbucker mode I'm gonna to go to my neck pickup and I'm just gonna reach over here I just switched on my compressor now I've got this this sound here I've got the volume rolled back a little bit on that pickup okay so uh, I've got my sheet here because there's so many fills I had to look at the sheet when I was recording my demo to so I knew where I was because um, there's so much okay so the song starts right and we start out with this little solo, and I consider it really more of like a fill than a solo. So it's the rhythm is, and the lead goes, and the whole thing is played with your fingers and your thumb, right? So we got fingers on the D and G, and he's constantly hitting muted notes throughout this whole part. Um, and I can't get every one of those, you know, nobody can, because that's his style. Only he plays that way. And he's got a really unique style, very Chet Atkins flavored sort of style. Just double stops, G and um, D string, fifth fret to seventh fret. Put a little vibrato in that, right? And then we've got the opening solo, which is. And that is so sweet. So we're starting here. 5, 7, D to 7 of um, the G string. So we're kind of in kind of less fourth position, a minor pentatonic. But now we're going to go, which is kind of based around that, fifth position pentatonic. And that little sequence of notes repeats constantly. Um, and then we've got this, which is just a D minor 7 arpeggio. So C note makes it minor 7, right? And the technique there is, like, I rake my thumb across those, and I really hammer them to get them to snap. And when I, you know, use my finger, I pull up, so I'm actually snapping the string. 
Okay, and then... So that's just a bend on the fourth fret of the G with the open E. Okay, and then... And there, the band's on the A, so he's just doing that sixth interval with the third and the root. Kind of bouncing off that minor second, which gives you that kind of Phrygian sound. Right? But it's just for a fraction of a second. Now, band goes to F. We do that like which is so cool now probably what most people hear is just and it would be perfectly fine to play that because that's really all you hear anyways but if you really listen he's doing he's doing all these little pops with his thumb on the dead strings muted strings okay so it's basically the B and the, uh, the, the B and the G string and then when we do that, like we're all three strings with the fingers down to the B flat, right? And this is just a suspension, just like playing an F chord, really, right? But just you have the third in the bass. And you hear the music play. And then we've got that, like, which is similar to the opening, like, right? Same shapes. And then. That's how that ends. And that, that repeats all the time too. So we're ending on the C. Got that kind of C major pentatonic look. Hammering on from G, the G to the A, five to seven. Now we get into the second verse. Again, all sixth intervals, right? So, bands on the A. We're going down to like a G over A. And then D minor, but you know, that sixth interval is the fifth and the, and the minor third. Beautiful guitar playing, right? And that is my favorite lick in the song, I think. It's so cool. So now we're up here and think of this A sh or D shape A chord, and we're just gonna go four, three, root, five, the intervals, right? It's like an arpeggio. It's like doing that. But I start with my third finger, so I can get my second finger on that note, because I'm gonna slide that down and pull it off. And now, so far, that's like an A major type arpeggio. But then he does this G note, which makes it mixolydian, because that's like the minor seventh instead of the major seventh. And, you know, A mixolydian is the D major scale. So, you know, I know we're in D minor, but, you know, over that A chord, this just works perfectly. Drop that down a fret and end it here on um, A7. that lick again, which is a repeat lick, and then we've got this, which is again six, we're on the D minor, and we're just playing those two notes, right, 10th fret G and E, and then down a fret on the G, down two frets on the E, and ending up on 10th fret G and B. It's so sweet. And then we go Instead, you know, it's not that, it's second time. It's 
just that. And then we've got the chorus. And the chorus is just, you know, the most common part repeats constantly. And when he goes up to that C, I just slide my whole third finger up there and bar it. And there's a little, you know, hit with the fingers on this on the uh, muted strings. Okay. I mean, he's such a stylized player, it's impossible to copy what he's doing, but that's sort of the idea. Okay, now we head into the third verse, and this is where he does those cool jazz chords. Okay, so super cool. So that's just basically like a seventh chord. It's like A7, a D shape, right? Seventh chord. You could play it like that, but that note is not in there. And he just goes, that's the effect of that. But you can't hear that note, so I'm pretty sure he's just going. And then. Just thumb three fingers on that D minor. And then the next lick is this. It's just sweet. That is such a great lick. So we're over the A, right? And he's going to go A minor pentatonic. Except he's going to put that major third in there because that's a major chord. Gonna put that in there, and that's that's the killer part of that. Like that's what makes it sound so good. And then just down two frets, and finish it off like that. And right little finger on the E string, pulling off down to B um, six. All right, so. Now the next fill is this. All right, so we just, these two note chords, um, ninth fret G, eighth fret B, and down two frets. And then to finish off, that again, but we've got a little grace note in. Okay, so and then we're gonna go right to take us to the next verse. Now the next verse. Right? It's just, you know, A minor pentatonic, that little bend there. And then, <laughs> it's so sweet. Again, A chord, we got an A major arpeggio. shape, right? And then right there. And then the band goes to F. So we've got that sort of country um, fifth position um, F major pentatonic. And then we've got this again. Friday nights, <laughs> and that's such a great look. I love that one. Um, so it's 
the same as all other licks in that shape, but just a different feel. So it's pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck. That again. Back to the chorus. Okay, so far so good. And then after that, um, we got the fifth verse. And this one is cool too, so the band is like... And what he's doing is he's doing off shots, and he does this actually in a lot of spots in the song, but I just, in my demo, I just did it here. So he's like... Okay, so those shots are like... you're thinking like this right off, off, off. now we've got the 12th fret of the B string get a nice vibrato on that let it drift down then we've got 14 G and 13 E there's sixth interval, right? Right? You know, that's a D minor chord, right? But we just, it's like. So. And the next one is. <laughs> and again, that's so cool. Bands on A, right? So we've got another version. Or you could think like that. You know, it's just these chord shapes that are kind of producing these arpeggios. Then, that, now we've got that, that again. And then we go to this, the next one is. Followed by that. Again, a lick we already know. And then, and there's the chorus. And then, following that chorus, we got the solo. And I'm going to do the solo, um, like I said earlier, in a separate lesson. Okay, so now we just have the sixth verse. This is the last verse of Phil's. Beautiful. All sixth again. You know, love six. The A. Right? And you got that D minor chord, right? Slide that down and then hit it. And then the next one is just an A chord, D-shaped A chord up here. Then, and there we've got, so it's the two note chord thing, but it's just a little different. And then, because the bands will be flat, we hit that, um, 6th fret B and E. My B's a little flat there. And then we've got this. <laughs> Again, same thing, but just a different version. So, don't go... Don't let that A ring there. We're going to keep muting that. chorus and that's it for the fills and the rhythm okay a ton of stuff there and if you learn these licks this is really it's a master class in how to play guitar right because it's all based around chords um, like I said earlier it's it's chord shapes arpeggios major pentatonic minor pentatonic uh, bends uh, you know 
country style bending and a lot of uh, sixth intervals, right? And just beautiful guitar playing. Anyways, uh, make sure that um, you watch my solo lesson because the solos are really, really excellent too. And again, you know, you'll just learn a ton about how the guitar works by learning um, these licks. All right. I hope you get something out of this lesson. I uh, hope you enjoy playing it. It's a real um, project, you know, learning all these licks. And I'll have a tab uh, um, for this lesson um, with all the rhythm stuff and all of these fills. And then when I do the solo lesson, I'll have a separate tab with the solos. Okay, because I get a ton of requests for tabs. Um, so I'm starting to put a few up, and I'll just see how that goes. Anyways, like I said, I hope you get something out of the lesson. Hope you enjoy playing it. And we'll see you in the solo lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.